Daniel Goleman, the father of emotional intelligence on managing emotions in the workplace. Daniel Goleman is widely recognized as a pioneering figure in the study of emotional intelligence, EI, particularly in the context of the workplace. In his seminal work, Emotional Intelligence, Why It Can Matter More Than IQ, 1995, Goleman introduced the concept of EI as the ability to recognize, understand, manage, and influence one's own emotions as well as those of others. This idea has profoundly impacted how leaders and employees approach emotional management in professional settings. Self-awareness is the ability to recognize and understand your own emotions, strengths, weaknesses, values, and drivers. In the context of Daniel Goleman's emotional intelligence framework, it's a crucial component that underpins effective emotional management and interpersonal interactions. Here's a closer look at self-awareness and its relevance in the workplace. Components of Self-Awareness Emotional Awareness This involves recognizing what you are feeling at any given moment and understanding the impact of these emotions on your behavior and decisions. For example, if you're aware that stress is making you more irritable, you can take steps to address it before it affects your interactions with colleagues. Accurate Self-Assessment This means having a realistic understanding of your strengths and weaknesses. It's about knowing where you excel and where you might need improvement. This awareness allows you to seek feedback, develop skills, and align your tasks with your capabilities. Self-confidence. Confidence rooted in a deep understanding of your own abilities and limitations. Self-confidence helps you take on challenges, communicate effectively, and assert yourself in various professional scenarios. Benefits of self-awareness in the workplace. Improved decision-making. When you understand your own emotions and biases, you can make more informed and objective decisions. Enhanced communication. Being aware of your own emotional state helps you communicate more effectively as you can express your thoughts and feelings clearly without letting emotions cloud your message. Better conflict resolution. Self-awareness helps you manage your reactions during conflicts, allowing you to address issues constructively rather than react impulsively. Increased adaptability. Understanding your emotional triggers and responses makes you more adaptable to change and better able to handle unexpected challenges. Stronger relationships. When you are aware of your own emotions, you are better equipped to empathize with others, leading to more meaningful and effective professional relationships. Developing self-awareness. Reflective practices. Regularly set aside time for self-reflection. Journaling about your experiences and emotions can help you gain insights into your own behavior and thought patterns. Seek feedback. Solicit feedback from colleagues, mentors, or supervisors. Their perspectives can provide valuable insights into how others perceive your actions and behavior. Mindfulness and meditation. Practices like mindfulness and meditation can increase your awareness of your thoughts and emotions, helping you become more attuned to your inner state. Personality assessments. Tools like the Myers Briggs Type Indicator or the Clifton Strengths Assessment can provide additional perspectives on your personality and preferences. By cultivating self awareness, you not only enhance your emotional intelligence, but also contribute to a more positive and productive work environment. Self regulation is the ability to manage and control your emotions and behaviors, especially in challenging situations. It's a key aspect of Daniel Goleman's emotional intelligence framework and is essential for maintaining professionalism and effectiveness in the workplace. Here's a deeper look at self-regulation and its role in the work environment. Components of self-regulation. Self-control. This involves managing impulsive reactions and maintaining composure in stressful situations. It means not letting your emotions dictate your actions, such as resisting the urge to react angrily to criticism or setbacks. Adaptability the ability to adjust to changing circumstances and new information. This includes being open to feedback, flexible in your approach, and able to pivot when plans or situations change. Emotional resilience. The capacity to recover from setbacks and remain optimistic in the face of adversity. It's about maintaining a positive attitude and persistence, even when facing obstacles or failures. Accountability. Taking responsibility for your actions and their impact on others. This means owning up to mistakes, learning from them, and striving to improve. Benefits of self-regulation in the workplace. Better decision-making. By controlling emotional impulses, you're more likely to make thoughtful, rational decisions rather than reacting based on temporary emotions. 
Enhanced professionalism. Managing your emotions helps you maintain a professional demeanor, even in challenging situations, which fosters a respectful and productive work environment. Effective conflict resolution. Self-regulation allows you to handle conflicts calmly and constructively, rather than escalating tensions or contributing to a hostile environment. Increased productivity. When you can manage stress and stay focused, you're more likely to maintain productivity and achieve your goals. Improved relationships. Being able to regulate your emotions helps you interact more positively with colleagues, leading to stronger and more collaborative working relationships. Developing self-regulation. Mindfulness practices. Techniques such as mindfulness and meditation can help you become more aware of your emotional responses and better manage them. Stress management. Implementing stress reduction strategies, such as exercise, relaxation techniques, or time management, can help you remain calm and focused. Emotional awareness. Increasing your awareness of your emotional triggers and responses can help you anticipate and manage your reactions more effectively. Cognitive reframing. This involves changing your perspective on challenging situations. By reinterpreting stressful events in a more positive or constructive light, you can manage your emotional responses better. Goal setting. Setting personal and professional goals can provide a sense of direction and motivation, which can help regulate emotions and maintain focus. By developing strong self-regulation skills, you enhance your ability to navigate the complexities of the workplace effectively, contributing to both your own success and the success of your team. Empathy is the ability to understand and share the feelings of others. In Daniel Goleman's Emotional Intelligence Framework, empathy is a crucial component that facilitates effective communication, strengthens relationships, and fosters a collaborative work environment. Here's a closer look at empathy and its significance in the workplace. Components of Empathy Understanding Others' Emotions This involves recognizing and interpreting the emotional states of your colleagues. It means being aware of how others are feeling and how their emotions may influence their behavior and decisions. Active Listening Empathy requires truly listening to others without interrupting or making premature judgments. Active listening involves paying full attention to what the other person is saying and responding thoughtfully. Perspective taking. This is the ability to see situations from another person's point of view. It means trying to understand their experiences, concerns, and motivations, even if they differ from your own. Compassion. Empathy often involves showing concern and care for others' well-being. It includes offering support, encouragement, and assistance when needed. Benefits of Empathy in the Workplace Improved Communication Empathetic individuals are better at understanding and addressing the needs and concerns of others, leading to clearer and more effective communication. Stronger Relationships By demonstrating understanding and care, you build trust and rapport with colleagues, which strengthens professional relationships and fosters teamwork. Enhance Collaboration Empathy helps create a supportive and inclusive work environment where team members feel valued and understood, leading to more effective collaboration and problem-solving. Conflict Resolution Understanding others' perspectives can help in resolving conflicts more effectively by addressing the underlying issues and finding mutually acceptable solutions. Increased Employee Satisfaction A workplace where empathy is valued contributes to higher levels of employee satisfaction and engagement as people feel respected and supported. Developing Empathy Practice active listening. Focus on listening without interrupting or thinking about your response while the other person is speaking. Show that you are listening through nodding, maintaining eye contact, and giving verbal affirmations. Engage in perspective-taking. Try to see situations from others' viewpoints. Consider their background, experiences, and emotions to better understand their reactions and needs. Ask open-ended questions. Encourage others to share more about their feelings and experiences by asking questions that require more than a yes or no answer. Be mindful of nonverbal cues. Pay attention to body language, facial expressions, and tone of voice, as these can provide additional insights into how someone is feeling. Show genuine concern. Demonstrate that you care about others' well-being by offering support and assistance when appropriate and by acknowledging their feelings and experiences. Reflect on your own emotions. Understanding your own emotional responses can help you relate better to the emotions of others. Reflect on how your feelings influence your interactions and decisions. By developing and practicing empathy, 
you contribute to a more harmonious and productive work environment where individuals feel understood, valued, and supported. Social skills are the abilities that enable you to effectively interact, communicate, and build relationships with others. In Daniel Goleman's Emotional Intelligence Framework, social skills are a crucial aspect of emotional intelligence and play a significant role in professional success and teamwork. Here's a deeper look at social skills and their importance in the workplace. Components of social skills. Effective communication. This involves clearly expressing your ideas, listening actively, and engaging in meaningful dialogue. It includes both verbal and nonverbal communication skills, such as tone of voice, body language, and facial expressions. Conflict resolution. The ability to address and resolve conflicts constructively and diplomatically. This includes understanding different perspectives, negotiating solutions, and maintaining a respectful approach even in disagreements. Teamwork and collaboration. Working well with others towards common goals. This involves contributing to the team's success, supporting colleagues, and fostering a collaborative and inclusive environment. Influence and persuasion. The skill to effectively persuade and motivate others. This involves presenting ideas compellingly, building trust, and aligning others with your vision or objectives. Leadership, inspiring and guiding individuals or teams towards achieving goals. This includes setting a positive example, providing direction, and encouraging and motivating others to perform their best. Networking, building and maintaining professional relationships that can be beneficial for career growth and opportunities. This involves connecting with others, maintaining relationships, and leveraging these connections effectively. Empathy and relationship building. Creating and nurturing positive relationships by showing understanding, respect, and care for others' needs and emotions. Benefits of social skills in the workplace. Enhanced collaboration. Strong social skills facilitate better teamwork and cooperation, leading to more effective and productive team dynamics. Improved communication. Effective communication skills help prevent misunderstandings, ensure clear exchanges of information, and enhance overall organizational efficiency. Successful conflict management. Good social skills aid in resolving conflicts in a manner that preserves relationships and promotes a positive work environment. Leadership effectiveness. Leaders with strong social skills are more likely to inspire and motivate their teams, leading to higher levels of engagement and performance. Networking opportunities. Strong networking skills help build valuable professional connections, which can lead to career advancement, partnerships, and new opportunities. Developing social skills. Practice active listening. Focus on truly hearing what others are saying and respond thoughtfully. Avoid interrupting and show that you are engaged through your responses and body language. Work on communication techniques. Develop clarity in your speech. Pay attention to nonverbal cues and adapt your communication style to your audience. Engage in team activities. Participate in team projects and group activities to enhance your teamwork and collaboration skills. Seek feedback. Ask for feedback on your interpersonal interactions and use it to make improvements. Develop emotional intelligence. Enhance your understanding of your own emotions and those of others to improve your ability to relate and interact with others effectively. Build and maintain relationships. Invest time and effort in building and nurturing professional relationships. Follow up on conversations, show appreciation, and be supportive. By honing your social skills, you can improve your interactions with colleagues, foster a positive work environment, and enhance your overall effectiveness in the workplace. Motivation is the internal drive that influences your behavior, goals, and persistence. In Daniel Goleman's framework of emotional intelligence, motivation is a key component that impacts how you set and achieve objectives, manage challenges, and maintain enthusiasm in your professional life. Here's a closer look at motivation and its significance in the workplace. Components of Motivation Achievement Drive This involves the desire to improve and achieve excellence. Individuals with a high achievement drive are motivated by setting challenging goals, striving for continuous improvement, and measuring their success against standards. Commitment The alignment of personal and professional goals with organizational objectives. Committed individuals are dedicated to their roles and the success of their teams or organizations, often going above and beyond their basic responsibilities. Initiative The willingness to take action and embrace new opportunities. 
motivated individuals are proactive, seeking out new projects and taking on responsibilities without waiting for direction. Optimism. Maintaining a positive outlook and resilience in the face of setbacks. Optimistic individuals are more likely to stay motivated despite obstacles, viewing challenges as opportunities for growth. Passion for work. Genuine enthusiasm and interest in your work. This passion drives you to put in extra effort and stay engaged with your tasks and projects. Benefits of motivation in the workplace. Increased productivity. Motivated employees are more likely to be productive and deliver high-quality work. Their drive to achieve and improve translates into better performance and efficiency. Higher job satisfaction. When individuals are motivated, they often experience greater job satisfaction. They feel more fulfilled and engaged in their roles, leading to lower turnover and absenteeism. Enhanced goal achievement. Motivation helps individuals set and achieve both personal and professional goals. It drives focus and persistence, leading to successful outcomes. Positive work environment. Motivated employees contribute to a positive work culture. Their enthusiasm and commitment can be contagious, inspiring and energizing their colleagues. Resilience and adaptability. Motivated individuals are better equipped to handle setbacks and adapt to changes. Their optimism and commitment help them overcome challenges and stay focused on their goals. Developing motivation. Set clear goals. Define specific, measurable, achievable, relevant, and time-bound, smart goals to give yourself direction and a sense of purpose. Find your passion. Identify what aspects of your work excite and interest you. Aligning your tasks with your passions can boost motivation and engagement. Seek feedback and recognition. Regular feedback and acknowledgement of your efforts can reinforce your motivation. Celebrate your successes and use constructive feedback to improve. Develop a growth mindset. Embrace challenges and view failures as opportunities for growth. A growth mindset fosters resilience and keeps you motivated in the face of difficulties. Create a supportive environment. Surround yourself with supportive colleagues and mentors who encourage and inspire you. A positive environment can enhance your motivation and drive. Balance work and personal life. Ensure you maintain a healthy work-life balance. Taking care of your well-being can sustain your motivation and prevent burnout. Visualize success. Regularly envision the successful completion of your goals. Visualization can reinforce your commitment and keep you focused on achieving your objectives. By cultivating motivation, you can enhance your performance, achieve your goals, and contribute positively to your workplace, leading to both personal and professional success. Managing emotions effectively is crucial for leadership and team success. Leaders who excel in emotional management can create a positive work environment, drive team performance, and foster strong relationships. Here's a comprehensive look at how managing emotions plays a pivotal role in leadership and team success. For leadership, modeling emotional intelligence. Self-awareness. Leaders who are aware of their own emotions and how they affect their behavior set a positive example for their teams. This awareness helps in making thoughtful decisions and maintaining composure under pressure. Self-regulation. By managing their own emotions effectively, leaders can handle stress, maintain professionalism, and avoid reacting impulsively. This stability provides a reliable and calm presence for the team. Building trust and credibility. Empathy. Understanding and acknowledging the emotions of team members helps build trust and rapport. Leaders who show genuine concern and empathy are more likely to gain the respect and loyalty of their teams. Transparency. Communicating openly and honestly, especially during challenging times, fosters trust. Being transparent about decisions and the reasons behind them helps in maintaining credibility. Enhancing communication. Active listening. Effective leaders listen actively and respond thoughtfully, showing that they value their team's input. This strengthens communication and helps in addressing concerns more effectively. Constructive feedback. Providing feedback in a respectful and supportive manner encourages growth and development, rather than causing defensiveness or discouragement. Navigating conflicts. Conflict resolution. Leaders who manage their emotions well can address conflicts constructively. They can remain neutral, facilitate discussions, and work towards solutions that benefit all parties involved. De-escalation. By staying calm and composed during conflicts, 
leaders can de-escalate tense situations and guide the team towards resolution without exacerbating the issue. Motivating and inspiring. Positive reinforcement. Recognizing and celebrating achievements boosts morale and motivation. Leaders who manage their emotions can effectively motivate their teams and maintain enthusiasm, vision, and passion. Leaders who are emotionally engaged with their vision and goals can inspire their teams to share their passion and work towards common objectives. For team success, creating a positive work environment, support, and encouragement. Managing emotions effectively allows leaders to provide support and encouragement, fostering a positive and inclusive work culture. Conflict management. A leader's ability to manage emotions helps in resolving conflicts quickly and fairly, preventing disruptions to team cohesion and productivity. Facilitating collaboration. Team dynamics. Leaders who handle their emotions well can help manage team dynamics, encouraging collaboration and teamwork. They can address any interpersonal issues and ensure a harmonious working environment. Encouraging open communication. By modeling emotional intelligence, Leaders promote an environment where team members feel comfortable sharing ideas and concerns, enhancing collaboration and innovation, enhancing performance, setting expectations. Clear and emotionally intelligent communication of expectations helps team members understand their roles and responsibilities, leading to better performance. Providing support. Leaders who manage their emotions can offer the necessary support and resources to their teams, helping them achieve their goals and overcome obstacles. Promoting well-being. Work-life balance. Leaders who are attuned to the emotional needs of their team can support work-life balance and overall well-being, reducing stress and preventing burnout. Emotional support. Providing emotional support and recognizing the contributions and challenges faced by team members helps in maintaining a healthy and motivated team. Strategies for effective emotional management. Self-reflection. Regularly assess your emotional responses and their impact on your leadership style. Reflect on how your emotions affect your decisions and interactions. Emotional regulation techniques. Practice techniques such as mindfulness, deep breathing, and cognitive reframing to manage your emotions effectively. Seek feedback. Encourage and be open to feedback from peers and team members about your emotional impact and leadership style. Professional development. Engage in training and development programs focused on emotional intelligence and leadership skills. By effectively managing emotions, leaders can enhance their leadership effectiveness, drive team success, and create a positive and productive work environment. He also advocates for organizational training programs that focus on developing these emotional competencies, as they are critical not only for individual success, but also for the collective success of teams and organizations.